All right, in this video we're going to talk about elapsed time and uh, particular, specifically we're going to look at using frog hops to calculate the elapsed time. The definition for elapsed time that we're going to use here is that elapsed time is the time it takes for an event to happen from start to finish. Okay, so we have an event which is started at 9.14 and it's ending at 10.35. At one end of the number line, you can see that I've drawn 914. And at the other end of the number line, you can see that I've started writing in 1035. And now we're just going to use frog hops, which I could have done in other situations, to count on our time. Well, the easy uh, thing is to uh, get rid of the minutes. In other words, make the minutes match up. So we've got 14 minutes here, and we've got 35 minutes here. So if I just add a certain amount to this 14 to get the 35, that means I just have to work out the hours. So what could I add to 14 minutes to turn it into 35 minutes? Well, that's pretty easy. That's uh, 21 minutes. So if I make a hop of 21 minutes, 21 minutes, that means that my new time is going to be 9.35. Now you can see that the minutes are the same. So now I'll, all I need to do now is work on the hours. Well, I just have to go from 9 hours here, or 9 o'clock, to 10 o'clock. So it's one hour. So I have one big hop here of plus one hour. All right, so I've done all my hops. So now all I do is write down over here uh, using column addition uh, and total up my, my times. So I've got one hour here and I've got 21 minutes here. Okay, so that's one hour, 21 minutes, or I could write it one hour, 21 minutes like that. All right, let's have a look at uh, the next one. So I've got another event here. It starts at 7.54 a.m. and it ends at 1.45 p.m. Again, I have to draw my number line. I'm gonna try and draw it as straight as I can. Okay, arrow at that end, <coughs> arrow at that end. And I have to remember which one of these is uh, at which end of the number line. Well, because this time here is earlier on in the day than this time here, this is the one I need to start with. I need to start with this one. So I'm going to write 7.54 a.m. All right. And then I write the other time, which is in the afternoon. I write it here. Okay. And now we look at the minutes. Okay, so we've got 54 here, and we've got 45 here. Well, that, that might be a bit confusing for a few people, so uh, I'm going to take it very simply. Uh, let's make a small jump of six minutes. Okay, so six minutes. So 7.54 plus six minutes will take it to the next whole hour, which will make it 8 o'clock. Okay, so that's 8 a.m. All right, and now we can uh, go up in chunks as big or small as you want, really. Uh, again, I like to get rid of the minutes first, so uh, I'm going to add 45 minutes to this. So I'm going to have another bigger jump of 45 minutes. That's going to take me to 8.45. So now you can see that the minutes match here. So now I just have to get from 8 o'clock in the morning until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. All right. Well, uh, if you're not sure how many hours that is, you can use your fingers or you can just go up one hour at a time if you want. It's up to you. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm going to just go for the whole shot. So um, 8 to 1 o'clock uh, is going to be... Sorry, I started losing my voice there. Uh, okay, so we're going to have a jump up about five hours. All right, so 
a big jump along here all the way to here and that's going to be plus five hours okay and if you're not sure you can just check on your fingers eight nine ten eleven twelve one five hours okay and now we just add up our times we've got five hours i always like to write the, the hours first because it's the largest amount and then 45 minutes and then six minutes okay and we add it up okay six and five is 11 minutes okay so five hours 51 minutes and you could write it as five hours 51 minutes all right here are uh, two more that uh, you can try and then you can uh, pause the video have a look at these two problems try them out and then uh, play the video again and see if you got the same answer that I got okay so pause the video and give it a try okay so you can see that I've already drawn the number lines here and I've written in the time so 1750 because it's earlier on in the day than 2130 goes at this end and now we're just going to uh, do the frog jumps I'm going to add 10 minutes here plus 10 minutes makes it 1800 also known as uh, 6 o'clock and now I can add on 30 minutes so that I get rid of the minutes or the minutes match up however you want to say it so that becomes 1830 okay again my minutes are now the same all right and now I just add on three hours all right okay and now I just come over here and I write down my times there's three hours there's 30 minutes there's the 10 minutes add okay that column is zero that's 40 minutes three hours 40 minutes which you can also write as I'll do it over here three hours 40 minutes okay next one over here 1110 is at this end because it's earlier on in the day 1440 also known as 240 all right so it's very easy in this case to match up the minutes I just need to add 30 minutes to this and uh, it'll be the same as this so add 30 minutes so plus 30 minutes makes this 11 40 now our minutes match up and now we're just working with the whole hours okay so uh, 1140 plus one hour would make it 12 and then 12 uh, to 1400 would be another two so that's going to be three hours okay so all the way over to here okay three hours again all right and we write three hours and then 30 minutes add it up and three hours 30 minutes and you can also write it as three hours 30 minutes okay right well I hope you found that helpful if you found it helpful, please leave a comment. Okay, thank you.